Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to 15th of December. It's time for Rock 2022 AU, our second album of the month and our last album of the year for our year-long make-along. I can't believe this will be the last album, but I'm sure it won't be the last time we ever talk about music. So our first album for December was Iron Maiden, and I wasn't sure how this would be received, but it was well received and we have re have a record number of pictures posted for this album. So there you go. You never know what's going to happen. So our second album. Well, in December, I thought we'd explore music Reeves listens to because he was very helpful with Rock 2022 AU research albums, just the whole thing. And I thought it'd be nice to try to explore the type of music he listens to and that's why we did Iron Maiden. Now I've picked this one from his collection because I find this guy really interesting and a little different. So I need white gloves that are we are going to look at Mortis. Ta -da. This is a picture disc of Reeve, in Reeves collection. He values it greatly and I promised him I would wear white gloves. Mortis. Have you ever heard of him? I love this eggplant purple or aubergine, this greens. I think it's great. That is the back. The picture disc of Mortis. He also has a couple of seven inch singles by the same artist. That one is Decadent and Desperate. Um, they're really quite artistic covers and this one is Grudge. Interesting covers. So why did I pick Mortis? Well when Reeves went to uni his first in his first year one of the units was to do a hand illustration and um, he did one and I really liked it he did well with the mark and I had it framed and it hangs around the house here on a wall. Ta -da! There it is. He did Mortis and it's always caught my eye. He did this one and Ozzy Osbourne and they're both framed and they have Ozzy Osbourne's black and white. Um, they sit side by side on the wall. I have other things framed that he did at uni and I even have a picture framed that he did in year 12 high school his last year because they're quite different and I like having his artwork around. Um, it's just a pity now that he's older he doesn't do as much but you never know suddenly he'll surprise me with something. I know he was trying watercolour pencils the other day um, because he said it was like buying yarn. He had to go out and buy the exact yellow he wanted and he said and it reminded him of me buying the yarn getting the right colour. So have another look, Mortis. That are sorry about the light flaring. It's really dark outside because we are going to get rain. So I'll tell you a bit of information. I've done a bit of research on him. Mortis, spell M-O-T-W-I-S, is an electronic band formed in Nottingham, Norway, fronted by Harvard Helferson who is also known as the namesake of the band. He also goes by Mortis. He's also recorded other music under a different name. Um, the album I brought back for Reeves from uh, Victoria is under his other name and it's autographed and he values that because that is rare too. The name is a misspelling of the word Mortis, which is a pronunciation used by the band. Mortis started as a solo pro project by Alpherson as a means to convey a story. This aspect was lost over time and Mortis slowly formed into a band. Alpherson previously played bass in black metal band Emperor from 91 to 92 prior to forming this project in 93. The time he spent in his previous band laid groundworks to, for mixing black metal elements with various electronic genres, with these being touched upon across an era of the band. The album 
that we have looked at, the picture disc, is from Era 1, which was from nine, 1993 to 1999. Era 1. The title of Era 1 was never intentional. It came about in 2001 when Mortis was set to release The Smell of Rain, which was such a departure from his earlier, earlier records that he wanted to brand it in a way to signify this. All works previous to the smell of rain were thereafter referred to as Era 1 as a con consequence. All the Era 1 albums were composed entirely on synthesizers creating sound that Mortis described as dark dungeon music, a fundamental influence on the later dungeon synth genre. The last album of this era, The Stargate, went a step further by introducing a wide range of instruments, including acoustic guitars, flutes and dark vocals. So why am I interested in Mortis? Well, besides the fact that Reeves did artwork at uni on him, recently I watched a YouTube um, video with him. He follows this um, channel called Amoeba Music, which is in LA. And they get famous or interesting people to go around their music store, select records, CDs, DVDs, and put them in a bag. And then that person sits on the couch and talks about what's in their bag and why they like it and why they picked it. It doesn't have to be musicians. It can be actors. It can be comedians. They've got quite a few. I'll actually put a link to Mortis's video in the description below. And along with a music playlist. So you can check out the music playlist when then watch the Amoeba video to get an idea of why I was confused because what was in his bag was not at all what I expected that he would listen to or would inspire him or he liked. He's an interesting guy, he's very talented and I do enjoy hearing some of his music when Reeves takes me in his car because it's generally one of those bands. So there you have it. Our last album to inspire you is a picture disc by Mortis. Ta -da! Along with, so there's lots of eggplant purple there and paler greens, along with Reeves's artwork of him. I like that green, that jade green is lovely with black. Look, if you need inspiration, there is some for you, along with the music playlist. Now, if you're at a point in your project where it's almost finished and you just need to border it or finish it off, feel free to do that and post that picture. As long as you post a picture to wind up the year, that would be awesome. And use the hashtag rock2022AU. So yes, we want to finish our year-long make-along off with a big bang. Now there's still a participant prize draw for December and that will occur on the 2nd of January along with a mystery prize for the year-long make-along. The reason it's a mystery, I haven't decided at this stage what I'll be doing. But make sure you check out the video on January the 2nd to see who the participant prize went to which will be a $25 gift voucher and the overall winner or participant for the year-long make-along who'll get the mystery prize. Now having said that, don't forget to check out January the 1st because we will be kicking off our make-along for 2023, Yarn Vacation. Now in a day or so, I will put up a video explaining the terms and conditions and how to enter to give you a clearer picture of what it's all about. Make sure you check that out and you join us because we're going to have some fun flying broomstick airways virtually to different places around the world where subscribers live. And I think this will be as much fun as we've had with Rock 2022 AU. Just a little note before I go, especially to the people who participated in Rock 2022 AU, from Doreen and Emma, a big thank you for the donations you sent. A few of you sent donations and it was very much appreciated because every little bit counts and they did want me to give you a big thank you in this video. So until next time, till January the 2nd, if not January the 1st, if not tomorrow, who knows when I'll pop up on your video again. 
stay safe, stay well, and be creative with your project looking at the musician Mortis. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.